everyone. Welcome back to Pascal's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a cauliflower curried soup with crispy Brussels sprouts. What do we need to make this soup? Well, obviously we need lots of cauliflower. There are two heads of cauliflower here, just taken apart with the florets, all individually chopped. You can, of course, just chop them into little pieces. The smaller they are, the faster it will cook. Two leeks, an onion, some chives, some lemon zest, and the Brussels sprouts, which get cooked separately and added as a little crispy topping. And what we need is also some vegetable stock. Now to make this, everything gets made in a large saucepan and that's what we're going to do now. So what do we need to do to make the soup? The first thing we need to do is to cook the onions and the leeks so that they get nice and soft and translucent. So I pour a little bit of olive oil into the saucepan, let it heat up for a second. And then just pop in the onions, just one chopped onion, and the chopped leeks. And with that, we're going to add a tablespoon, this is obviously a teaspoon, but a tablespoon of curry powder. And it gives this marvelous flavor to, to the soup. And the wonderful thing about this is that the curry powder is just this great flavoring seasoning for the cauliflower. So this is going to cook for about three to four minutes. And once it's nice and soft and the onions get translucent, then we'll add the cauliflower. So these now look fantastic. The onions are nice and soft and the leeks have softened as well. And now we add the florets of cauliflower. Just pop these all in here, catch a few strays, and stir this around. And then <clears throat> we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper and some lovely vegetable stock. Actually, if you want to know how to make vegetable stock, it's a really quick and easy way to do that. Um, there's a previous video in one of my episodes on the channel. If you look down below, you'll see all the other episodes. And you can get a quick vegetable stock to make. So much easier to make your own. And cheaper too. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to add all of this stock in here. And I'll add some salt and pepper about eight cups of vegetable stock. I always keep a little bit behind at the end, just in case I need to, when I puree the soup, if it needs a little bit more liquid so that it's um, the right consistency. Bit of salt in here and some pepper. And this is going to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes with a lid just half on sure everything's popped down and once or twice give it a stir and then it'll be ready to puree. Now while this is cooking I'm going to make the Brussels sprouts. So to make the crispy Brussels sprouts that get sprinkled on top of the soup just need to heat a little bit of olive oil in a pan make sure the pan's nice and hot when you do this and then add the Brussels sprouts in there and the Brussels sprouts were shaved. You can either do this on a mandolin or with a, a small paring knife and just get them as thin as you can. You want the oil to be nice and hot and then we'll pop this in here and cook them. Actually, that's a lot of Brussels sprouts so I'm just going to do half that amount and um, <clears throat> once these have got a little bit browned we're going to add some chives and some lemon zest, which just gives them this lovely zing. Okay, I'll put the chives in first. Chives, a little pinch of salt. There we go. And some black pepper. And I would do about six or seven grinds of that. Stir these around and they take about four to five minutes to cook so that they get really crispy. Just keep stirring them so that they don't catch. Add this lemon zest. 
and mix it all together. And I'm just going to let these cook for another couple of minutes. There we go. Lovely crispy Brussels sprouts and they're just softened and they have this nice little crispness to them and these will get sprinkled on the soup as soon as that's ready. I'm just going to set these aside and then we'll finish the soup. Let's have a look to see if this cauliflower is cooked through. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Smells delicious. Oh yes, these are absolutely cooked, ready to puree. So what I like to do to puree them, you can of course puree this in a conventional blender, be careful, it's really hot. But I like to use these immersion blenders. Turn off the heat and then the base of the immersion blender you put, you can do this straight in the pan, that's what's so fantastic about them. So just put it straight into the bottom of the pan and then puree away. And in two seconds, well maybe 15, you'll have a fabulous pureed soup. There we go, makes it so easy. So we're going to serve this in a bowl with the crispy Brussels sprouts and we'll serve that up. So here we have this beautiful, fragrant cauliflower soup and to serve, it's very simple. Nice ladle or two of the soup. Oh, this looks so delicious, smells heavenly. And I like to serve a little bit of creme fraiche on the top. You can use Greek yogurt if you like, or if you'd rather not have the dairy, then none at all. But I think it adds this nice little tang to the dish. And then over here, I'm just going to bring this in. I just spoon the crispy Brussels sprouts on the top. And that's how you serve the soup. So um, to find the recipe, you can look in the link that's just below and you'll find all the recipes for all the videos there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon. Bon appétit!